So let's first start talking about the first V of big data, which is the volume. We all know that big data is supposed to be big, right? How big really? So let's, let's first try and understand some context here. How much data is there in the human DNA? Well, the human DNA from which all of us are created has a few gigabytes of data. So not really that much. In contrast, the brain of a fully grown adult has significantly more data. How much more? Well, that depends on how you calculate that because there are different ways of calculating the size of the brain. It can range from anywhere from 100 terabytes to two and a half petabytes. Well, one petabyte being a thousand terabytes. So that's a massive capacity for the human brain. So how much data do companies really have? Well, here's a really, really interesting example that demonstrates how big data can really get. As you probably know, a few years ago, Amazon started Amazon Web Services, wherein you can store your data on the Amazon cloud. Some companies, however, ran into the problem that even with the fastest possible internet connection available in the world today, it would take decades to transfer the amount of data that they had onto the Amazon servers. So how did Amazon solve this problem? They solved this problem using something called the Amazon Snowmobile. Well, the Amazon snowmobile is nothing but an 18-wheel massive truck that they come and park in front of your data warehouse. They then physically plug in their own servers to your servers, transfer the data onto the truck that's waiting, and drive the truck into the Amazon Web Services location. Now, this can take a matter of a few weeks. An Amazon snowmobile can carry 100 petabytes of data. Think about that. That's 100,000 terabytes of data can be carried in one snowmobile. If you try to transfer that data using the fastest internet connection available today, it'll probably take you more than 28 years. 